And the sighting of these ornate old lamps along this bridge is my hint that I've made it to this piece of the Charles River Greenway that I've proposed to examine in winter. There's a pile of pushy idiots in cars, of course. And this was our spot where it all came together last year. Ah, nice to see some open water. I'm sure the waterfowl are grateful. And here we are at the beginning spot for the Greenway on this side of the Charles. I got a lot of photos here last spring, but got so carried away. Ooh, look, free conduit. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> Anyway, I got so carried away by the trestle bridge up ahead that I never came back here last year. And for the sense of completeness and the addition of value to the whole process, I may as well get to it now. Besides, it's a much better time to get a more complete look at the structure of this fabulous old bridge. There's not a lot of green in the way. We get a look at it in its relatively unadorned state. Yeah, there's a pretty decent flow to the river. Uh, some kind of racket up ahead. A few greens poking through the bracken. You can see some bicycle tracks. So this thing is still used and quite usable since there isn't much snow cover yet. It's quite a lot, a lot of Habitat along here. All in all, it's a pretty impressive little segment. Oh, and here's a kind of Way. 
<laughs> Startled a couple of mergancers. They are kind of wary. Some dog walking going on. better sense of the flow. Here we are in a situation where the green canopy would sort of be nice for a change. There's our beloved bridge again. Beach ball. Interesting sections I noticed last year. Off the trees. Sort of bank stabilization <coughs> engineering efforts. against undermining, no doubt. It's pretty wintry. There's a piece of willow that fell and was sliced. Actually, it might be ash. It's ash. Everything's waiting on spring. Yeah, you can get a sense of the extent of the engineered walls they set up to accommodate this bank stabilization project. It's less necessary on this side because this was probably more of a floodplain basin area. Another remnant of the old layer of amenity that the Commonwealth attempted to put here. I spotted this last year. It's again more noticeable with the green gun. But this was one of the little pathways to conduct you to the water's edge. interesting array of eyelids and whatnot. This is a great little part of it all to explore. And I photographed quite a lot of it in the fall. But it's a lively river this time of year. Oh look! And they have this path running through what's now a hilarious tangle 
of old roots as the dirt was washed out. Looks like there's a bit of protein in the water from something or other. Let's see. If I'll take this. Wash that thing back to where are we. This is kind of a once noble commonwealth scheme reduced to shambles by indifference and a lack of proper care. Actually, it kind of looks like it was swept by a flood. took was one prone blown limb and it does see oh yeah this whole thing looks like they've got a flooding <laughs> scoured by the river in one of those major bouts of rain we have look at that yes down the pebbles There's some more of that buttressing in a couple layers, the older stone cribbing and the newer triumphs of engineering. And somehow through all this riparian chaos, the old trees that hold the area together hang in there. And there in the distance we see the dam and the trestle bridge that distracted me so. And that's pretty much the completeness point.